As the newest Blue Blood season moved on, fans could not shake off the feeling that something was missing. It was soon apparent that Reagan's favorite partner, Maria Baez, was being seen less and less, which led to speculations about Baez quitting her job. So, is Baez leaving the show for good? We will tell you all about this in this video and also let you in on other Blue Bloods news that you might have missed. There is also some news on what to expect from episode 10, which will be airing next year. Stay tuned till the end of the video to find out. The tea starts brewing. Blue Bloods is one of the longest running shows on CBS. Apart from the Reagan family, one of the central characters of the series since her introduction back in season 3 is Detective Maria Baez, who is played by Marissa Ramirez. Baez found herself footing when she became Danny Reagan's partner on the force, after which these two worked and solved many cases together in most of the episodes of Blue Bloods. It was only natural that fans felt the glaringly obvious absence of the female detective from several episodes this season, which led them to wonder whether she would be quitting the series. Perhaps what started, or maybe added fuel to these speculations, was when a fan commented on an Instagram photo of Garrett Moore, portrayed by Gregory Jabara, talking to Frank Reagan, played by Tom Selleck, on the show's Instagram profile. They talked about them missing Detective Baez in the series, and requested to stop leaving her out of the episodes because because without her, the show was bland and did not have its usual spark. More people start noticing. The decrease in screen time for Maria Baez in season 12 slowly became the talk of the town as the show moved on. In the Blue Bloods subreddit, a user talked about whether it was just a hunch or actually true that Baez was appearing less and less in the episodes and moved on to say that they are getting a feeling that she will be leaving the show soon. They further remarked that they would not really mind a new partner for Danny, saying that it would freshen things up. While a few users disagreed that Baez wasn't going anywhere, one did notice some truth in what they were saying, and also commented on the summary of the then-upcoming episode that made things fishier, where Baez will be reconsidering her post in the NYPD. The synopsis of that episode, which was to be released on December 10th, said that NYPD will be dealing with a cyber attack, and in addition, Baez will be contemplating her role and position in the police department. So it did seem like Baez may just up and leave soon. Episode 9 gets released. The character's future was at stake because of the Episode 9 preview which showed Baez highly considering a life beyond the NYPD after growing increasingly frustrated at the toughness that her job demanded, not being able to trust anyone, and having herself get recorded by people every second of the day. The only reason fans who believed that it was the end of Detective Baez were hopeful entering the episode was simple. There was no solid evidence of her leaving the show, which was very unlike that of Lauren Patton's departure. The actress who portrayed Witten in the series also left earlier this season, but her Broadway schedule helped hint that fact. And so fans were not caught too off guard. In Ramirez's case, there is no evidence of any alternative gig that we know of. Could the show just surprise us with the news? Maybe, but fans hoped that this was not the case because the Danny Baez partnership was too precious to be tampered with. In the episode though, Baez was shot while helping Danny wind up an investigation, which did not help the rumors. However, Baez was not hurt too badly. She was still hospitalized towards the end of the episode, which may mean that she won't be returning to work soon, but as long as her fate is concerned, we think she's safe and not going anywhere. To conclude, there were also no announcements by Marissa or CBS that would indicate her leaving Blue Bloods. The actress had been part of the series since 2013, and although there is always the looming possibility of a departure, fans should not worry themselves too much. Let's move on to other Blue Bloods news that you might have missed. A Frank X. Sloan romance in the making? What we know so far. Firewall, which was episode 9 of Blue Bloods' season 12, brought back Sloan Thompson, who is portrayed by Alex Kingston. Apart from this, or due to this, more like, we also saw some interesting developments in Frank's love life. In the episode, Frank Reagan finally started considering the idea of a romance with Alex Kingston's character. Something that was there for a long period of time, the two had chemistry, probably since their first interaction. But at the beginning of Firewall, it was clear that Tom Selleck's character was consciously trying to not see it. This confusion also manifested in his performance on the job to a certain level, which was interesting because we rarely see his personal and professional lives clash 
crashing. But maybe that's because Frank doesn't really have a lot of personal life. Sloan was involved mostly for the purpose of upgrading the NYPD's tech after a recent cyber attack on their resources. Frank attempted to negotiate a proper deal with her, but his personal judgment interfered. To recap, he had dug into her previous job and what had happened regarding it. This led to him feeling guilty and apologizing for his actions, as well as for what happened to her in London. So, as Frank comes to terms with both of their realities and what the future has in store for us, can we expect some sort of a serious romance between the two? We're not totally sure, especially due to the fact that Frank prioritizes his professional career, but it might be better to not rule out the possibility altogether. Will we see more of Joe Hill? Will Hochman played Joe Hill in the season 12 of Blue Bloods, and the fans were wondering whether he'll reappear again in any of the following episodes. Well, we have the answer you are hoping for. In the comments of a recent Instagram post, Siobhan Biren O'Connor, the executive producer of the cop drama, revealed that Joe will be back in episode 12 of the season, which will be airing on the 21st of January. This also gave us a big hint on what the upload schedule is going to be like. There will be three episodes airing in the month of January on CBS, with episode 10 set for the 7th, and the next one probably a week after. So, what role is Joe playing? We're still curious on what Joe's story will be, details about his character are yet to be revealed, and Sioban pointed out that his storyline will merge with Jamie's at some point, in some way. These two characters inarguably have a good dynamic, with them having quite a few things in common, and with Jamie acting as a big brother figure, Joe apparently has a rebellious streak which Will Estes' character can help control. It is nice to see the writing team for Blue Bloods finding interesting ways to make Joe part of the recurring roster. The abundance of characters have made it hard for him to be on every episode, but whenever he is in one, the energy he brings is immaculate. It's also good to see him not being ignored after that one dramatic twist that happened a year and a half ago, where he was revealed to be the latest member of the family. Without further ado, let's talk about what the next episode has in store for us. Episode number 10, What to Expect. Episode 10 of Blue Bloods is going to be the first one in 2022 and will be airing on Friday, January 7th. If you don't know, Lyle Lovett, who plays Waylon Gates, will be returning this episode and will be having a lot of scenes with Danny. This seems appropriate since the title of the episode is called Old Friends, or maybe the title is linked to a screen cap that was shared by the network where Jamie seems to be having an interesting conversation with someone. According to the synopsis of the episode, Jamie will be making a troubling discovery about a former mentor while handling the gambling debt of a neighbor. Maybe this mentor is also a friend. Maybe Jamie feels the need to return his favor for training him. We know that Jamie has a caring and empathetic side, just like every Reagan does. The possibilities are endless. Finally, let's talk about whether we should expect Maria Baez at all in this episode, considering her untimely injury in the last episode. CBS did release a few photos for this episode, but sadly, none of them featured Marissa Ramirez's character. In fact, it may not even be surprising if she temporarily becomes MIA. Baez just got shot after all. Maybe we'll get an update on how she's taking care of herself, and even some scenes of Danny checking up on his best friend and partner, and maybe not, who knows. But one thing is certain, this episode will pack a punch. And that is all we have for you today. What's your favorite part about the new season? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you'd like to hear more from us. Bye!